Welcome back. The Government and Public Policy Institute of the University of the Bahamas is proud to announce that it will commence its highly anticipated 50th Independence Distinguished Lecture Series on June 13th. Here to talk with us about this is Javago Lang, Executive Director and Senior Policy Fellows, Fellow of the Government and Public Policy Institute at the University of the Bahamas. Good morning and welcome back to Bahamas at Sunrise, Mr. Lang. Good morning, Brother Law, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Good morning to all your watchers and listeners. Yes, it's always a pleasure having you on the show. Always a great discussion. So let's jump right on in. Uh, so we're talking about this distinguished lecture series happening on June 13th. Who will be speaking at this event? Well, you know, for the very first time in the history of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and the University of the Bahamas, the, a sitting governor general is going to be our principal presenter, our lecturer on that occasion. That's the most honorable Cornelius A. Smith, governor general of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. That's fantastic. Um, a great speaker. Always love to hear him speak. Um, do you know, uh, can you tell us what will he be speaking about? Well, the Governor General has a rich background in the Bahamas, a rich background, starting out as an educator, having uh, then went into private life, mm -hmm. spent some time, some time in customs. Uh, for, a, for a while, actually, he worked at a place where I was a summer student, <laughs> Syntex Pharmaceuticals. Right. And uh, of course, in uh, 1972 began, 82 began a career, his actual elected career mm -hmm. in, uh, in politics mm -hmm. and uh, remained in that sphere for, um, for three terms. And then of course, in, uh, served as our ambassador for a time mm -hmm. uh, to Washington DC and uh, really distinguished himself as a public servant. And then, of course, uh, in 2019, June 2019, became the governor general. Mm -hmm. So given the richness of his experience, having sat at the front lines of many a pivotal and seminal events in the country, the governor general is going to be reflecting on these themes, empowerment, education, and excellence, yes. 50 years into our independence. And so we're going to be able to hear from him as he talks about this country uh, from a, a living perspective, a historical perspective, an experiential perspective on, on these major things that I think are marvelous ideas for, for the country. He is definitely qualified to speak on the topics you've mentioned. The boy from Snow Hill, Long Island, a uh, very close uh, family member of mine, and I've always admired him. Um, so looking forward to this lecture. Uh, what is the purpose of the Distinguished Lecture Series and what has been some of the knowledge shared over the years? Well, you know, the Government and Public Policy Institute exists to, among other things, promote public policy dialogue. Mm -hmm. Very often in the Bahamas when we discuss matters of national and international um, importance, we come at it from an opinionated point of view more so than anything else because it is you know really that's most what most people can draw on right what our responsibility is, is to bring people who have deep knowledge <clears throat> deep experience and evidence to bear on the things that they talk about so over, over the years for instance if we're dealing with public policy matters we've had cabinet ministers uh, come in we've had the prime minister come in if we were dealing with matters related to U.S. Uh, Bahamas relations, we've had a distinguished professor from the U.S. Naval Academy come in. We've had the Chinese ambassador to deal with Bahamas Chinese relations. And so we, we draw on people who have the wherewithal to bring evidence, experience, and deep knowledge to bear on these subject matters. And, they, and they've done a great job. It, it sounds so. Um, I'm sorry that this is the first one that I'll be catching, but it, I'll be there and uh, I didn't need to catch up on the previous years. Um, this year is our 50th in the year of independence. What are some of the topics of discussion do we anticipate hearing about during this lecture series? Well, I, I think one of the things that you will find is, is, is that we're trying to cover the span of issues that we have had to deal with over the last 50 years, whether that's the economics of things, whether that's education, whether that's our cultural realities. As an example, the 
Government and Public Policy Institute is conducting right now or completed a, a survey called a National Cultural Value Survey. So we want to see how, what are our values today? How do they have changed over the 50 years of our existence? And so we, we, we're going to look at a number of areas of concern to the country. That, um, once again, it's, we're at such a crucial point in our history. Uh, you know, 50 years isn't that long. Uh, we're still, you know, we're still uh, teeny boppers yeah. compared to the rest yeah, of the yeah. world, right? Um, yeah. And just like the teeny boppers around it, you make some mistakes, you learn from it, and then we mature. So I feel we're at that point where we're learning how to mature, learn from our mistakes, and put our best foot forward. Um, you've been on the show many times before, and we usually invite you to get your opinion on various topics that are relevant and current. Uh, recently, the Prime Minister made some remarks on the Hawksbill Creek Agreement, and he mentioned that it's no longer working for the development of Freeport in Grand Bahama. Can you provide your thoughts on the Prime Minister's comments? Uh, sure. Um, <laughs> I think that the prime minister is right in some ways about there being issues of concern in Freeport uh, to the extent that Freeport has been in an economic stagnation now going on 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you think that the Grand Bahama Port Authority which is the partner in the Hawksville Creek Agreement is supposed to be a, instrumental in promoting Freeport's economic growth and development, then you have to concede that over the last 20 plus years, that has not happened and therefore something is not right. right. But by the same token, if you believe that the government of the Bahamas has a responsibility for the growth and economic development of the island of Grand Bahama, including Freeport, and that hasn't happened, mm -hmm. then you have to look at the government itself. Mm -hmm. And so I think that we have to be careful to comprehensively uh, look at our issues so that our diagnoses are correct, so that we can have the correct prescriptions yes. uh, um, for it. And, so, and I, I just think that it's a little narrow mm -hmm. to only look at the Hawksville Creek Agreement because for the decades of the 90s, if in the decade of the 90s, Freeport flourished mm -hmm. and the same Hawksville Creek Agreement prevailed. Right. And people who live in Freeport will tell you, outside of the economics of it, it's a great quality of life to live in Freeport. It, the crime is low, the place is organized, it's clean. It's just economically stagnated, and that can't be only a function of the Hawksburg Creek Agreement. Thank you so much for your perspective on that. I would love to dig in more, but let's talk back about the lecture series uh, before we wrap up. Uh, so back to the lecture series. Tell us, what is the time? Uh, we know the date is uh, June 13th, and where is the venue, the time and venue? So, yes, so the time is uh, 6.30, uh, and the venue, so that's Tuesday, June 13th. At 6.30, it, this series will run from 6.30 to 8.30, mm -hmm. is at the Harry Seymour Library Auditorium at the University of the Bahamas. Unless we get a, a huge throng of people who decide they want to come, we, we pray and hope and request yeah. that such uh, people come, uh, we will remain in that live in the Harry Seymour uh, Auditorium. Otherwise, we will move to the to the... Um, uh, the auditorium, the main auditorium. Fantastic. Well we, know, well, we know all of our viewers are going to be there in droves, so you better get that other venue ready just in case, right? Yeah, it's a great <laughs> event. It's a great, it's a great, great, great event. I mean, honestly, I'm looking forward to listening to the Governor General. I mean, to get, to get his perspective, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Yes, it is. Um, it's, a, it's a treat. Once again, to be in his presence, to hear his thoughts, to learn the lessons from him, and then also be surrounded by wonderful people who are attending the lecture. Before we go, what, is, what do you want to say to our viewers out there about this lecture series and why they should attend? Listen, you, you, and, you and I are only going to understand better and contribute better to our own personal and collective development through understanding. That understanding means we have to get information. That means we must get information from sources that can provide that information accurately and with perspectives that lend to our ability to really think about it. And so, and, and, and there is something about learning together. Yes. Listening and learning together. And so 
I just think that if you want to, to advance your own cause and to advance the cause of your children and their children, you need to put yourself in a position where you can get as much information as possible. And these lectures, these, these um, opportunities provide the, the occasion to do that. Well, very well said. Uh, once again, get that other venue ready because we're coming in droves to support this lecture series and learn so much from the Honorable C.A. Smith and everyone that's going to be in attendance. We want to thank you again for your time this morning. It's always a pleasure being in your company, having a great conversation, and looking forward to seeing you at the lecture series. My pleasure. Thank you much. Thanks for joining us this morning. Javago Lang, Executive Director and Senior Policy Fellow at the Government and Public Policy Institute at UB. Thank you again for joining us on Moms at Sunrise. You're watching Mamas at Sunrise. We'll be right back.